guys, it's Rachel. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to me being extra excited because we are now officially under a month away. A month away from TS11, the Tortured Poets Department. It comes out April 19th and I just, it's my only brain cell right now. I have to be honest, like it is consuming my brain. And I say, oh my gosh, like I couldn't be more excited. But every waking minute I get more excited. So. Earlier I decided, wouldn't it be fun to kind of like sit down and say merch items that I think and I wish that we would get for the Tortured Poets Department. So as of March 22nd, when I'm filming this, we have not had the official big merch drop that usually comes with new Taylor albums. And so I decided, wouldn't it be fun to kind of say the merch items that I hope we get? Okay, so the only merch that we've gotten so far are the collector CDs that come with little things here and there. And um, we've gotten the vinyl for the Bolter, the Albatross, the Black Dog, and the manuscript on her site. But we have not gotten like shirts and accessory, like nothing else except like the pre-orders of the different variants. So I thought it would be fun before they drop all this merch on us to say, hey, like I think these merch items would be fun. And um, Taylor's team, UMG, if you're listening to me and you like any of the yes ideas, feel free to use them. I won't be mad because I want them desperately. Okay, number one on my list is a blanket, a Sherpa blanket. It needs to be cozy. Look, this album, I just, by the color scheme, by everything that I can tell, we're gonna need cozy vibes for this album, but also I feel like there are seven explicit tracks, by the way, that was announced this week when it got uploaded to streaming services, because now you can pre-add it, which I did, and that gave me so much serotonin, but, I just feel like a cozy blanket is so necessary and Taylor's blankets are one of my most used merch items. Like I'm looking at my bed right now and my folklore blankets on there, my midnight's blankets on there, um, my era's tour one is on my couch. Like I am obsessed. They are the coziest. I just think that this would be perfect. The color scheme would be perfect because they're neutral colors. It would match, you know, any decor. A person might have so I'm just saying we need we need a blanket we do I want a vintage Clara Bow shirt antique style font that looks classic and vintage um, it could be something even alluding to because I don't know if for copyright Taylor could actually like use a picture of Clara Bow, but I think it would be pretty to like use lyrics and have like an antique font and then maybe like a little bow to symbolize it just something very delicate and antique looking um, that's what I see for Clara Bow merch. I don't know, you guys. I really feel like Clara Bow is going to be one of my tops on Tortured Poets. I don't know. I just, I get that vibe. I'm very drawn. I'm very drawn to the story that I feel like Taylor is definitely going to tell with that song. Like, she obviously connects with Clara Bow, and I just know that Taylor Swift is going to take us for a ride with this album, and I feel like Clara Bow is just going to be, like, very, like, pulling on your heartstrings, and I feel like I'm just gonna really love Clara Bow. I don't know. I want a solid crew neck, and I said a, just a solid crew neck, maybe gray or sepa, like, I, I don't care, like, it can have the album cover on it, like, I do not care. I just want a crew neck, like, I, and I'm sure we will get <laughs> some sort of crew neck. I am just such a crew neck fan, like, my dad is on vacation right now and he's like what would you like me to bring you back i'm like you could bring me a crew neck and i would be you know that was my request <laughs> um so i just i love a cozy crew neck like over a hoodie or anything like that like you know it's kind of uncomfortable when you have the hood like it's good on rainy days but i don't know a crew neck is just like ultimate cozy vibes to me i just want like a gray or like even like a beige i don't care i just want a crew neck I just, I just need the Tortured Poets Department, uh, like, I just need a crew neck of it. Thank you, in advance. I would like the Black Dog Edition cover picture, which is this, which is my favorite cover picture, other than the original, I'm obsessed with the original, um, album cover. This picture right here, I just need this picture, just like this, on a black crew neck. That's it. I'm not asking for much. 
I'm not asking for much, but that is something I want. Okay, I just dropped my phone. The next thing I want is a baby tee of some sort with lyrics. I can either see this for some reason. I feel like Down Bad might have like those vibes or Fresh Out the Slammer. I feel like, oh my God, like baby tee like just gives me kind of like, I don't know, not edgy, but if you get what I mean, like, I don't know, as stupid as it sounds, I just feel like Fresh Out the Slammer is giving me baby tee energy. Down Bad also sounds like it could be like lyrics on a shirt. Like I'm just picturing, I guess, that on a baby tee. Like, because we don't have lyrics yet, except for I'm thinking the back covers, like I Love You, It's Ruining My Life, like might be a lyric, but we don't know yet. It could be from the pro, we don't know. We don't know what it is. We don't know. <laughs> we don't know. But what we do know is like, the title track, like the, the, the title, Fresh Out the Slammer and Down Bad just sounds like it should be on a baby tee. I don't know, but I really hope that we get one because I'm obsessed with Taylor's baby tees. Like they fit me to a tee, if you will. <laughs> I want a vibrant summer tee for Florida. I want something colorful. I want something pink or orange or something like just bright. Now the song, on the other hand, we don't know what the vibe of the song's gonna be. I might eat my words when I hear Florida. However, I don't know. I just think of colorful when I think of Florida. I think of like a pastel orange or something like that. Like something very pretty and fluorescent. Like I feel like that would be beautiful on a t-shirt with some lyrics, a little design. Thank you. I can do it with a broken heart. Crew neck or jewelry piece, something. I know that this song is going to mean the world to me. Okay, like I ever since, like I've said this every single time I've mentioned the song since, but Emma brought up the point. I don't know why I didn't think of this, but Emma brought up the point that what if it's like, you know, the Eras tour was like, she can do it with a broken heart. Like Taylor talked about in her person of the year um, article that she was like, you know, if we're sick, if we don't feel good, if we're heartbroken, whatever it is, if it's pouring down rain, we're going on that stage and we're putting on a show. Like, and I just keep thinking about that and Emma made me think about that even more, like so intensely that I am so fixated on it. I know that that song is going to mean so much to so many people, including myself. So I feel like I can do it with a broken heart, would just be so cozy on a crew neck. I feel like it would be really cute. Like even like the, um. I have this like chunky heart necklace on. I wear it all the time now. It's been my personality since I bought it from Marshalls. But I feel like something like that with like, you know, engraved, I can do it with a broken heart. Just like a little reminder or like a jewelry piece, like something delicate and something like, I know those lyrics for that song are just gonna be like perfect for that vibe. Like cozy, just a subtle reminder. It's something, we need something with a reminder that we can do it with a broken heart. Like push through, I don't know. I feel like that one's gonna be so impactful. Okay, a color block baby tee, baseball style. Now this one, I was, I was sitting and I was like, oh, I had an epiphany if you will. I was like, oh my God, that would be so cute. So like on the sleeves, like have black sleeves, and then the white for kind of resembling Taylor's Grammy dress, like how she had the black gloves and then the white dress, like instead of black gloves, have like black sleeves, cap sleeves, um, and it'd be like a color block baseball style t-shirt um, for the albatross. Because I just think that that would be so cool and it would fit with the scheme of the album too. Um, so I think that that would be cute. Maybe baby tea style, you know, with the cap sleeves, kind of like the Magic Madness Heaven Sin style is with that um, different color of the sleeves. And then for the base, be white. And I just think that that would be adorable. And there's bound to be some lyric that would be so cute with that. Okay, and then I also said a red soft crew neck for So Long London because something is telling me we're gonna need cozy vibes. So if you don't know, so Long London is track five, and this is one of my most anticipated because when I tell you, when I read the track list, 
this was the first song that my eyes absolutely just like locked to. I could not believe what I was seeing. I could not believe So Long London. Like I sprung, I was sitting editing a video, a matter of fact, and I sprung up from my seat and just stood and looked at my phone like this, like as if there was a spider on my table or something horrible happening on my table. Like I was absolutely stunned and shocked what I was seeing on this, this device. Okay. Um, so Long London is track five and Taylor is very strategic when she places her track five songs. They're vulnerable. They're emotional. And I just feel like So Long London, she moved to a different country for a man, spent her life there. And now she's writing a song called So Long London. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna need, um, something cozy, something cozy, okay? Like, I'm just gonna need something cozy to burrow myself in while I'm listening to this song. So, that would be really cute. I think, honestly, having a red crew neck with, like, embroidered, uh, like, in red, so it's monochromatic, so long London and, like, cursive, that could eat. That could absolutely eat. The infamous paw prints. Now, there have been paw prints, like, circulating on, um, like, Taylor and National Post things. It'll be like, it's us, hi, like, from when the Eras Tour was still in swing. It comes back in May. But, you know, when they'd, like, repost people and, like, get people excited, they'd say, it's us, hi. Um, and even, like, recently, there's been little paw prints just spotted here and there on things. So, I'm thinking... That definitely has to do with tortured poets and I think it would be so cute like on either like a baseball cap um, just like you know kind of like up the side placed or uh, I'm just thinking it could be cute on like a little t-shirt like you know on the side or like you know I don't know something with the paw prints I'm really just thinking that would be really cute because this album is also giving me like detective and like from the desk of Taylor Swift, file name, the manuscript, like, oh, oh, we're coming with receipts. We're coming with receipts. Like, uh, the cats definitely stepped on the ink of the artifacts, if you will, um, and stepped all around and was like, we're helping you solve this, okay? Uh, things have been done and we need to discuss them and I just, I don't know. I get detective vibes and with the little paw prints like I just think it's it's cute and that leads me to we need we need a hat we need a dad hat a baseball cap whatever you would like to call it we need it okay like I just think that that would be so cute with like the torture poets department or you could put anything on the hat and I will be buying it like I love my Taylor so just like the blankets my Taylor baseball caps get worn so much so much i am such a baseball cap girly um love them adore them so i'm gonna need one for the tortured poets department and then i think it would be really cute to have a poetry style book with lyrics so i've seen these kind of on etsy before like midnight's lyrics and every single page is like just the lyrics but it's in like the style of a poetry book I think that that could be really cute because it is called the Tortured Poets Department. Like, you could have the prologue on the first page and, like, just have it, like, I think that that would be perfect for, like, a coffee table. Like, I'm just thinking about that for my coffee table, personally. This one was also one of my favorite ideas I came up with, the alchemy, and I said a bracelet with lyrics on it. So, the alchemy is turning things into gold. It is turning raw things into gold making things golden and i just think that that would be really cute i think i love that title already i'm really already drawn to this song i have not heard the alchemy but i can tell you this is a good song i can tell you that this is a good song just based on the title i love unique titles and i think that it would be so cute to have like a little dainty bracelet with just like a little lyric or something on it or just say the alchemy. Just a little reminder that you can turn anything into gold. Or maybe not. We don't know the vibe of the song yet. Maybe it's like, I tried to turn this into gold, but you just 
don't you just want to be a, a rock you know from the hike I don't, I don't know we, we haven't heard it yet but per my research per my research it's looking like alchemy the alchemy means turning things into gold note cards I just think because we're seeing everywhere from the desk of Taylor Swift Sincerely, the chairman of the Tortured Poets Department. I just think something along those vibes would be absolutely adorable. Now, I <laughs> don't think we're going to get this because we have not gotten a stuffed animal since the Fearless era. But I'm just thinking. I am 24 years old and I love stuffed animals. I personally bought this Bigfoot Squishmallow yesterday when I walked into Walgreens for some Claritin because the uh, the pollen outside is not my friend. We are actually enemies at the moment. Um, but I can tell you, I am obsessed with stuffed animals. And if we got a little, like, <gasps> a black dog, but like, going back to what I said about like the detective, what if it had like a little, like a detective black dog stuffed animal do you know how fast I would buy that like faster than I could literally look at it like that would be so cute and like have on the paw like TTPD or something please Taylor Nation if you're listening to me listen to this one thing oh my god that would be so cute because you know it could also be like you know a little comfort stuffed animal because then the black dog also means like um, sadness and there are folklores about the black dog and how it's this hellish dog and um, maybe it could be like a little comfort stuffed animal too. Like, hey, like we all feel the sadness sometimes. I don't know. Um, that's probably my favorite idea I came up with. And then the last thing that I have is the From the Desk of Taylor Swift postcard set. I think it would be so cute to have like pictures on one side and then on the other side it'd be a postcard and it'd say From the Desk of Taylor Swift. Just like a collectible postcard set. Now there are things in the collector's editions of the CDs like there's bookmarks and on-scene pictures and things like that. But those are just the ideas that I came up with and I just am so excited you guys. I keep thinking about the moment we get that collection and the amount of serotonin that I'm going to get, just like placing a TS-11 merch order. That sounds insane to me, but I'm so excited for it. I love you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Thank you, thank you, thank you for 6,000 subscribers. Like that is insane. When I say that out loud, that is insane to me. Like that is a lot of people. And let me just say, I love every single one of you and I do this truly to be creative and have my outlet to just like blab about Taylor so thank you guys so much for hearing me out and being my friends this is something I always dreamed of when I was a little girl I dreamed of having somebody to just like hear me out and to have you guys ooh, oh my god means the world to me so thank you so much for celebrating Taylor with me and letting me be creative and um you guys really mean so much to me and I cannot wait to create so many fun videos for the tortured poets department and like release day emma's coming <laughs> and then this summer is gonna be <laughs> so much fun and i just i'm so excited and i can't thank you guys enough for being here so i want you guys to tell me down below what merch item do you specifically want for the tortured poets department like, are you like, oh, this song needs to be on a crew neck. This song needs to be on a t-shirt. Like, let me know. But I love you guys so much. I hope this video entertained you in some way. And I sincerely hope I see you. Yes, see you in the next one. Bye, guys.